When we think of the civil rights movement, many think of landmarks in the South. But this little row home along Utah Place played a big role in civil rights history. I think the important thing is to realize Baltimore's leadership in the civil rights movement. It started long before the typical stories we hear about with Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks. And they, in fact, would visit Mrs. Jackson here in this parlor. Dr. Lily Carol Jackson was born in Baltimore in 1889 into a segregated society. She became the president of the Baltimore chapter of the NAACP in 1935 and grew the membership from less than 200 to more than 25,000 by 1946. She bought this home in 1953 and used it as a hub for civil rights organizing. A lot of conversations took place here with Thurgood Marshall, Clarence Mitchell, Martin Luther King in the 1950s to talk about all those issues that we're building up to in the 60s. And those conversations that started within these walls led to change outside of these walls. In the 35 years Dr. Jackson served as president, the NAACP chapter made strides desegregating several facilities and schools and changing discriminatory laws. From all aspects of life, from housing to education, schools, salaries, getting black police officers, they tackled every aspect of life and really just, not just changed Baltimore and Maryland, but really a lot of the issues that were tackled here impacted the nation. But Dr. Iris Leigh Barnes says not enough people know this or Dr. Lily Carol Jackson's story. She was a woman and this is the 1930s. Women weren't always on the forefront and weren't always getting the credit, so we're gonna give her all the credit that's due. Today, what was once Dr. Jackson's home is now a museum, telling her story and the story of the civil rights movement in Baltimore. It's fit with artifacts, a documentary film, interactive kiosks, and six galleries, all to educate people on this piece of civil rights history right here in Baltimore. The museum is open Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 11 to 3, and it is free to the public. We'll put all the information you need to visit on our website for you. In Bolton Hill, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL-TV 11 News.